Manolis gesticulates, I mean, wildly uh, as he narrates the horrible tale about how this Eden-rejected snake, probably an asp after the ass of Cleopatra, plans to kidnap the Queen of Australia and beat up Odysseus on the, the hippie of California. Yeah, uh, well... Manolis weaves in the Persian attack on Marathon. Connects some, some dots there, huh? Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, I think Snake's father, his grandfather, runs a gun shop in Istanbul. Passionate preaching, huh? Causes furious, out-of-control... Uh, hand gestures amongst the men. Uh, intense Mediterranean eyes flash. Indignation. You know, because... Jaws. <laughs> Turkish viper wants to sink his fangs and satanic forked tongue into R. R. Pure Orthodox Greek family, culture. <laughs> well, look at that. Road City Fathers have voted to bulldoze down the squatter homes where they all live mm -hmm. to make room for what? An expensive casino. Oh. Uh, these Greeks, huh? Mood. Extremely cynical. You know what? They feel like beating somebody up just to relieve the stress. Of it. Oh, here goes my knowledge again. Uh, knocked over another chair. Oh, did not the golden child sleep in my ancestral home and carry my crippled son? In his own art, demands Manolis, leaping up, going over the top. Angry fists of solidarity punch the quayside air. Ah, uh, where is this snake? My friends and I will secure your departure. You love birds, huh? On the boat to Sponge. It's just a pure Greek village boat. I'm going to get you off-road safely, you know? And if Snake attacks, you know what we're going to do with him? Can you even imagine? We're going to throw him into the harbor. <laughs> Well, um, he goes on and on. And on. Mm -hmm. Nobody messes with Golden Child and his wife. Uh, because he is the beautiful, crazy friend of me, Manolis Macranatis, and bearer of crippled children and conqueror of two hippie chicks at the Stag Motel on Mount Prophelius, Elias, two at the same time. <laughs> well, look, I mean, this, fortunately, for all concerned, yeah, I mean, uh, Snake, it's like he's in the wrong harbor. <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah. It's two kilometers away. On Boreas Harbor, you're going to Athens, Cyprus, maybe Hoffa, Israel. I mean, it's a big time port, Athens. Yeah. You're going to Sponge Island. <laughs> you just, you have to be invited <laughs> onto the boat by your Greek friend. Uh, look, the Greeks control the gangplank. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, watching all approaches for snake attack. Until the mooring lines are cast off. Uh -huh. 
<sighs> oh, yeah. Mm. Manoli shouts to his first cousin on the Carpuzias, tell the Messiah that uh, these two foreign love angels got married in Lindos and they are trying to make their first bambino. Mm -hmm. Causes uh, uproar of laughter from the suspicious. Spongers on board, yeah. Mythological drama. Earthman and I emerge triumphant, liberated, handholders, sailing to our honeymoon on Sponge Island. Ooh. Manolis cups his hands to his mouth to shout over the noise of the frothing propeller. Name your bombino. Manoli. Well, let's not forget about Earthman, okay? You got to have a good memory to follow the, the, this story because it's intertwining, interlaced. Earthman on Sponge Island now. What's up? Okay, uh, storm clouds? Billow over the Nidos Peninsula. Yeah, the clouds have been building up all day. Uh huh. He's gonna get wet. Ooh. Release warning drops. Let's get back up 2,700 meters. 900 feet. Up to the plateau. Okay, and now walking against a buffeting wind. Dark clouds. Rain coming. Well, he reconnects to his footpath across the plateau, yeah. Mm -hmm. And in the dead center of the island. Oh, strategic, huh? Highest land on Sponge Island, yeah. Oh, oh he passes a, 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 a one-room stone hut. It's a military outpost to guard against attack from Turkey. Well, it is only six kilometers away, but the Greek-Turks war was like 1912. Uh, uh, yeah, strategic elevated viewpoint, beautiful, sweeping like a, and, and the turkey's like the sea dragon with these jaws. He's got these two peninsulas. They're kind of like these, these, these jaws. And Sponge Island is just like a little morsel for the dragon. <laughs> Kabbalah. What? Two Greek soldiers <laughs> in this remote outpost? Ooh. On duty? Kind of. Uh, amazed to see another human walk by. Um, <laughs> they run out. I mean, scurrying outside, uh, yelling at, at Earth Man. <laughs> Coffee! Coffee! And wave Earthman over. Mm -hmm. uh, he remembers passing this outpost on his way to Lone Paramiti, but uh, there was no energy there. Well, they were still sleeping. <laughs> Oops. Uh, on their watch. Earthman? If you look in his eyes right now, you would see that he is extremely stoned on hashish. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, he approaches his soldiers <laughs> as if floating in air mm -hmm. through heaven in slow motion. Mm. Soldiers, they whisper amongst themselves, oh, 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 oh. reviewing the bundle of rumors. He must be the hippie with wife uh, in Yalos Harbor and Ma Manolis, the nephew of the Messiah, put them on the Carpuja vegetable boat so they could make a baby on sponge. Hmm. Uh, makes sense in a way. Uh, Earthman is attracted to the friendly vibrations. <laughs> So he hangs out with these 
Seriously, Lord, soldiers. Oh. Nice to get out of the wind, that's for sure. Coffee?